Half Mile Sniper here and we are back on the range today. Today we're going to be testing some 9mm ammo made with uh, several bullets that viewer Eric G sent. So, while we're heading down range, y'all sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy the ride. What we have here this morning, we're going to be shooting a Springfield XD9 Tactical 5 inch, and we are going to be shooting the Norma MHP, some unknown, well, the Norma MHP is 85 grains, some unknown 85 grain jacket at hollow points that look a little bit like the XTP, but I don't think they are. And we've uh, previously shot both of these rounds, or both of these bullets, out of the 350 Legend, and they didn't work for squat. Then we got the Lehigh Defense 90 grain. I believe that's what it is. Double check my note. Yeah, Lehigh Defense 90 grain. And then a 57 grain Interceptor. We've got the Garmin Chronograph that we're going to be trying for the first time with the pistol, so I'll be... Standing a little bit over there, but we'll see if it picks it up. And we've got a target downrange with four dots on it. So give me a minute to get the target camera set up. Make sure the Garmin's running, and we'll bring you right back, and we'll test these uh, rounds and see what they uh, see what they do. They are all loaded over 5.0 grains of HP 38. So best guess is they're probably going to be running. 1400 feet per second. Just my guess. Okay, so we've got the first magazine loaded up with the 85 grain Norma. We've got the chronograph set up, and as you can see right here behind me, we're going to be doing our testing here from the 15 yard line. So stand by and we'll get to shooting. Okay, this will be the 85 grain Norma JHP, and we're going to shoot this on the top left dot those are two inch dots down there and uh well we'll just see how we group six rounds and we'll see how the chronograph picks up i'm a little bit more than 15 inches away but i think we'll be okay no we won't i have to rearrange the chronograph so give me a second okay so i have repositioned the chronograph literally directly in front of me here and we'll see if we read now fourteen thirty eight fourteen thirty four fourteen twenty eight 1435, 1443. That was some hot nine millimeter. Average speed was 1436 on the five shots that the chronograph picked up. Our extreme spread was 16 and our standard deviation was six. It's a little early in the morning. The group's not that good. It's probably me. It's still cold. But, uh, not bad. Let me show you. I don't know if it's picking it up, but we'll see. Alrighty, so we've got six rounds loaded up with the unknown jacketed hollow point that also weighs 85 grains. And we're going to give those a run on the top right hand dot. And we did learn something with the Garmin. I was probably, had the chronograph probably set up about four feet to my right. If four feet was too far, it was out of the path of the radar. So here we go with the unknown 85 grain hollow point with five grains of HP 38. Top right dot. 
1273, 1385, 1360, 1372, 1335, 1352, but not enough oomph to lock the slide back. Our six shot average, 1346, extreme spread 111, standard deviation 36. Looks like it shoots about the same size as the normal. What might work good with the Garmin would be setting it up on one of my other tripods somewhere next to me so I can just see it right here without having to look down. But that's for the future. Next up, we're going to try the Lehigh 90 grain Phillips head screwdrivers. And the Lehigh 90 grain over 5.0 grains of HP 38, we're gonna shoot on the bottom left dot. Twelve sixty-five. Okay, I see it. I wasn't seeing any, any hole at first. I see it now right at the three o'clock edge of the dot. So 1265 for that first shot. Oh, pardon me, 1253. I didn't see the second shot because I got too busy shooting. Uh, 12, uh, 1363. That was me. I jerked the trigger. 1327. Thirteen forty. That, that Lehigh 90 grain stuff, it shoots pretty good when you don't droop the trigger. Looks like most of those are, well, I take it back. I jerked the trigger twice because I see another one. So the Lehigh defense gave us a six shot average of 1331, extreme spread of 97, and standard deviation of 31.5. And last but not least, we'll be trying out these weird little 57 grain interceptors. And looking at the target, I had another trigger jerk with the uh, Lehigh. I obviously anticipated recoil or something because I drove that shot down like six inches straight down. <sighs> I'm glad I'm not shooting competition today which they're doing over on the other bay. There's a couple shooters here already this morning getting their matches in early. So this will be the 57 grain interceptor, also over five grains, 5.0 grains of HP 38. And I suspect, I suspect these are gonna be screaming. If the 85 and 90 grains are shooting 13 to 1400, this has to be doing at least 15. We'll see. First shot, here we go. Bottom right. Fifteen thirty-seven. Well, wait a second. I don't know if that is a dud round. Aha! They don't have enough oomph to fully cycle the gun. We did not get an extraction. Fifteen 
1452. Yep, no extraction. Fifteen fifty five, and it's just a little underpowered, not enough to extract and eject. Fifteen thirty eight. Fifteen oh seven. Fifteen twenty three. Our average is fifteen nineteen, our extreme spread one hundred and two, and our standard deviation thirty three point two. Wow. So this was the Norma MHP. I guess it didn't shoot that bad. This was the unknown JHP. It looks like it shot about the same size group. The 90 grain Lehigh, other than my jerking the trigger here, which I felt and called, but I also jerked the crap out of the trigger there and didn't feel it. I'm not sure what happened there. And then this one here is the 57 grain interceptor. Shot a nice group, not sure about that one, but that 57 grain stuff doesn't have enough oomph to drive the uh, gun. We'll run those back to the counter there and see if we can get a kind of a measurement on them. Well, 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 well. Once again, thank you to Eric G for sending me uh, projectiles to test. I'm liking these out of the nine millimeter. Got good speed, got a reasonable group as long as I do my part, which I didn't do today. The 57 grain interceptors, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna kick that speed up any higher because they just don't have enough weight behind them to create enough recoil to drive the gun. I might try some more of these in the nine millimeter. But that's for a future day. And also, thank you once again to viewer Jeff for sending this nice little hard case to throw the Garmin in. It goes in as a complete unit, just drops right in there and doesn't uh, get beat up. Well, as luck would have it, even though I bought a uh, set of calipers to keep in the box with the camera, I guess when I took the camera out last time, I moved the box with the calipers out of the ammo can I use and didn't put it back but we got one two probably about a four inch group there three and a half to four inch on both the, the Norma and the unknown that was doing two and a half except for my jerk high and my anticipation low so we know that that's over six inches and this one here was a little over a two inch group, except for the jerk up there that I didn't feel, which that could have very very easily been something with that uh, 50, 57 grain ammo because it wasn't even driving the gun. Interesting stuff. I was hoping to uh, test all four of those in my homemade gel block, except my homemade gel block disintegrated. So, I need to go find me another like four pounds or three pounds of gelatin and build me a new uh, new block of homemade ballistic gel so we can test those out. I think the uh, that Lehigh would make a really, really good uh, a wound channel. It did in the 380. It should make a huge wound channel in the 9mm. But that'll be another day after I uh, remake some uh, ballistic gel. With all that being said, I want to remind y'all, carry everywhere you can. Get a CCW if you need one. If you're in a constitutional carry state, get a CCW anyways. You never know. You might travel.
Not everybody recognizes it. I really do appreciate all y'all hanging with me, watching, liking, subscribing. I'm not wearing one of my shirts today. I'm in a team shooting shirt underneath my jacket here because it's a little bit cold. I'll probably go uh, shoot an auto match here in a little bit once it warms up a little bit more. And uh, I got links in the uh, description to Half Mile Sniper merch. Got hats, shirts, coffee cups, beer mugs, a few other things. And I really do appreciate all y'all watching. So until next time, this will be Half Mile Sniper reminding you stay safe, keep shooting. We'll catch you next time. Send it. Hit.